For most everyday athletes, checking your time at the end of a run, or maybe even your pulse rate after a long bike ride, is probably all the measurement that most of us need. But for high-performing athletes, like those training for the Olympic or Paralympic Games, sports performance technologies can help shave valuable seconds off their time and increase their chances of bringing home that shiny gold medal. Today, we've come to the Canadian Sports Centre Pacific, an innovative high-performance training environment tucked away inside the former Athletes' Village from the 2010 Olympic Games to see exactly how they're helping get Canada's athletes onto the podium. So helping us out today is Dr. Ben Spohr. Thanks uh, for showing us around. My pleasure. Now, I see we've got uh, an athlete here uh, riding away, and he's hooked up to all sorts of crazy stuff. Yeah, we've got Clark, he's doing what we call an incremental bike test. Okay. Throughout this whole process, you see a whole bunch of tubes connected to Clark, and what we're trying to do here is to see Clark's capabilities on the bike and look at points where we can then provide information back to him and his coach about how to train better and be faster. Primary piece of information we're getting out here is how much oxygen they're able to use. The amount of oxygen at each of the workloads, and if we were to take Clark to max today, we look at the maximal capacity. Like, how big is his engine? Okay, so do you ever hook an athlete up to here and go, there's not much potential here? Um, do you want to try? <laughs> <laughs> So while Clark's been uh, riding here, you guys have been uh, jabbing this poor guy's finger yeah. <laughs> every so often, yeah. sucking the blood out. What's yeah. that all about? We're taking a lactate measure here. You know that burn you feel typically in your muscles? Yeah, I feel it, that a lot. It's not exact, but it, the reality is, is that's what lactate's related to. So the higher the intensity goes, the higher the lactate values go. So what do you do with all that data then from uh, the lactate Lactate measuring? specifically? Yeah. We actually put them into a curve on a graph that looks relative to power, what it happens to that lactate value. And it gives us one piece uh, along with the metabolic data to get a better picture of what's happening with, inside of uh, Clark here. To make him a super athlete. You got it. So this doesn't look like a regular set of pedals. Uh, can you tell me about it? This is one of the neatest pieces of technology lately is it's called a power meter. This in here is an SRM. This is sort of the gold standard of the power meters. We also have some really good other power meters on the market like the cork system or the power tap. So where's the data actually going? Good question. <laughs> it's basically being transmitted wirelessly from here to a control device. This is called a power controller. It's stored here and it displays while an athlete's riding. Um, heart rate, power, cadence. You can actually put it on your personal bike and it actually takes the science and the measurement of power out of the lab and into the field. So someone like even me can use this? You betcha. Actually, a lot of people are using it nowadays, um, specifically in cycling. A lot of recreational people are using it regularly. Well, I certainly have learned a lot here today. It's no question that athletes have really advanced their uh, training using technology. We can see how uh, we can get that data from both the lab and the field and work together to really help improve the athlete's performance. Are you going to take my blood now? You're going to have to work a lot harder than that. Oh, Sorry. come on. I've been riding for at least a minute and a half here. <laughs> well, keep it up and we'll get it in a bit. <laughs> oh, sweet mother of God. I don't know how you do this for... I can't even get my leg over. 